Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to create the sun with rays coming out of the sky and hitting the park bench which you're seeing here in this image. It's quite a bit long and it, it can get a little bit frustrating but if you stick with me um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So what we're going to do is to start off we're going to create a background image a copy of this by pressing control and the letter J and that will give you the background uh, copy that you want and we're going to desaturate this by pressing shift control and the letter U and once that's done that it took all the colour out of it we need to darken the image because I'm going to put the sun and the rays coming from the top right hand side projecting down onto the park bench where there's already light on that uh, from the sun itself so it's going to help me in the image itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to press control and the letter L to bring up the levels box and darken the image because I want to da darken it down but enough so I can put in the um, direction of the rays coming from so I've moved the black cursor down and the white cursor up to meet it click OK and as you can see there's light spilling all over the place rather than from a direction easily remedied press the letter B on your keyboard make sure that the uh, background is set to black and this has obviously picked up the uh, brush tool itself make sure the opacity is on 100% and what we're going to do is just paint over the overspill of uh, light that's coming down you don't have to be accurate on this because obviously light's not accurate itself it will spill out all over any image so with that I think that should do it now I'm going to go to the channels tab and this time now I'm going to pick the circle at the bottom which is the load channel as selection and that will actually um, select all the bits of white that's actually in your image itself go back to the layers tab and what we're going to do now is we're going to create a layer um, a copy of this layer itself so what we're going to do is this time we're going to pick the create new layer and you'll see a box will open up with checkers in it we're going to fill that with white so we need to press control and delete button and as you can see down here it's filled that in and on the image it's now brightened the image up because it's back filled it with light itself now we can get rid of the middle layer by selecting it because we don't need it anymore get rid of your layer make sure that you selected the background copy what you just made and as you can see the um, pixels now are still flashing because we've um, selected that from that so now what we've got to do is we need to make um, a background copy of this so we'll press control the letter J again and what we've got now is we've got the um, background copy of the white selection what we've got now we're going to change that now by going to filter and this time we're going to go and choose blur and radial blur now on this will come up I've already chose this as zoom put the uh, quality as best and the amount has got to be a hundred percent but you can position this wherever you want the rays coming from in this case I'm going to the top um, left hand corner and as you can see where the lines are that's where the projection of the rays are going to come and hopefully it's going to fall on the park bench so once I've done that I'm going to click OK and it'll give a few minutes for it to um, create the, the rays coming from the sky and once it's done this then we can put some colour into it and try to make it as natural as we can within the image I don't know how it's going to look on the, uh, the video itself but we, we can try so I don't know if you can see this but there is rays coming down it's not as strong as I would like it to be for the video but it is coming from the sky now we need to change that by going to the FX button at the bottom and we're going to go to and select the outer glow the outer glow is there it's set at 5 pixels and 75 I think I can move that up just a tad more and I'm going to lighten the uh, yellow just slightly down because I don't want it overpowering the all of the image itself click OK and as you can see now 
the rays are just hitting the part bench just nicely where I wanted them. The next thing I need to do is select the blending mode to a soft light just to soften it down because obviously sun itself that comes through sometimes it's harsh but it's very faint at times to that natural soft look to it. Now what I've got to do is I want to make a copy of this, this background again by pressing control the letter J and as you can see now it's deepened the rays coming from the top left down onto the part bench. Now with this I want to directional, I want more rays coming about so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control and the letter T and that will give me the selection box that to move these rays about. But if you look at dead center, I don't know if you can see it on this video, you'll see the um, center of that. If you click on it and hold your left mouse button down, you can move that up to where the sun is going to go. And by pressing the shift and the halt key and picking your corner, you can stretch out as much as you want and position the rays and how strong you want them rays to, to come down. I think roughly that's about right for me and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the section up just slightly to get more of a fan of the, the rays coming down so I think that should be okay. And once we've done that and we, we've got this where it's, it's a bit harsh coming down and natural light won't do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the filter, blur, but this time I'm going to pick Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur I've picked there and that's on four pixels. I'm going to go to about five or thereabouts. Click OK and that'll just soften that down just slightly to where you want it to go. Now once we've done this I'm quite happy now to um, to leave it as that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and then I'm going to go to flatten the image and that will create it back into your, your normal image itself but we need to make another background copy of that now to add the sun. So we press control the letter J and we've got a background copy again and this time we're going to go up to the filter and we're going to go down to render and then we're going to choose lens flare. Now what this will do is it will give you the bright shininess of the sun coming through with um, a bit of uh, orbs that's coming through, a bit of uh, lens flare from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that I'm going to put it from where, where the directions of the rays are coming from. I've already selected the brightness at 100% and the lens type I've got is the 50 by 300 mil zoom lens. That just works for this image. Click OK on that. And as you can see now, um, the sun is there. And you've got a bit of an orb and some lens flare coming through on this. But I'm going to turn that down just slightly by creating on the layer 1 uh, a mask. Making sure that the black foreground is selected and I'm just going to paint over some of the image because I don't want the um, the light to um, be a bit overpowering on the image itself so I'm just going to slowly go over this to tone it down slightly but not too much because obviously um, I want the effects to stay as they are once we've done that, we can right click on that image and flatten it down. And then we're just going to check the levels by going to uh, Image, Adjustments and Levels. Or you can press Control and the letter L. And with the middle slider, I'm just going to slide it down just gently. OK, that. Image, Adjustments, New and Saturation. And I'm just going to drop the saturation down slightly, only a little bit. And that is your sun rays and your sun in the sky created in Photoshop.